Hi friends, and welcome back to the Danbury Senior Living Education Channel. Today's topic is travel. Specifically, can our loved ones who have Alzheimer's disease successfully travel out of state to a wedding or a graduation? I recently chatted with some friends who need to travel to a family wedding several states away and they desperately want to take grandma with them. But grandma suffers from Alzheimer's and they weren't sure if it was such a good idea. Now, remember, traveling with seniors can be the most fun you've ever had, but it does present its own set of challenges, especially if there's Alzheimer's. Here are some tips. Number one, research and plan ahead. Always make as many reservations as possible and stay on the beaten path. When you're making reservations, notify the staff that there is a senior traveling with you and ask if they have any special accommodations or discounts. Remember, Comfort food is comfort food for a reason. It can go a long way to help calm nerves. Number two, always think about comfort and safety. While the Maid of the Mist in Niagara Falls may sound fun, it's probably not the best idea for someone with balance issues or even Alzheimer's. Always ask for extra help at airports, theme parks, and hotels. Remember, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Number three, be sure their medications are all full before you leave. I've been on a trip with a senior whose prescriptions ran out on a Sunday while we were out of state. Not a good trip for anybody. Number four, eat and sleep smart. Don't let them fill up on junk food, pop, and beer. This will only make them sluggish and ill-tempered. Eat healthy food, get sleep, and drink plenty of water. Five, and most importantly, communication is the key. Keep them updated on the plans for the next day and even the next hour. Always answer their questions, their many questions, with patience and love. Did you know that Danbury Senior Living can even help in these situations? If your loved one can't make the trip, they can stay at Danbury with all of the amenities of a resort at a comparable price. It can be for two days or two weeks. Give me a call if you have any questions. I'd certainly be glad to help with all of that. Tune in next time. Thanks for joining.